The Olden World, written by Tsar Yoshi. Chapter 512, Pressing Further In. The moment the frosty hallway was clear, Puddles dropped, sagging against the wall and pushing a hoof tightly into her stomach. Oh, more puddles. Hey, ya! Uh, How galloped up to her and gave her a brow furrowed glance. Has a fell curse befallen you? One feller than you are because we are in the middle of a ship of dread pirates and kind of followed you because it looked like the safest place around? Shinespark frowned, standing with a sword drawn and Granada at her side. Puddles glared back up at him, still holding herself and shivering. Do you know what Puddles just ate? You'd have a bellyache if you were trying to metabolize one of these two. Leave Puddles alone. Then maybe you shouldn't have eaten it, Belinda growled, standing on free legs, her shoulder heavily bandaged with a strip torn from Neonova's coat. You think? No. Puddles stuck her tongue out, rocking woozily. It was important for Puddles' plan. I would have stolen the one in your other ship if I hadn't found this one. How did he know about that? Shinespark narrowed her eyes. Because Puddles is smart. Puddles ignored her, getting back to her hooves, raising her nose and sniffing. We go this way. Cute armored unicorn takes point and cute unarmored unicorn carries Puddles on her back. Shinespark and Granada both blanched. What? Puddles curled her lip. Fine. Cute armored unicorn carries Puddles and ugly stallions take point. Sorry, lass, Golbus sighed, glancing at the cleared room they had just come through. But this be your crusade, not ours. When there be forces in this world what could wipe me entire crew with a single blade, I have no intention of fighting Cerosians by myself for the sole purpose of fighting Cerosians. We be sticking with ye because ye be keeping us safe, and that be all there is to it. Press on when ye want to press on. We leave no sooner. Petal sniffed, looking like she wanted to cry, and then rolled to her hooves anyway, pressing on down the frosty hallway. Puddles' belly hurts, and it's all your fault, she tearfully declared, nevertheless striking up a limp pace further into the bowels of the ship. Arr, and Golbez gave her a look, and got up himself and moved to follow. That thing she ate really was as big of a deal as you made it out to be, wasn't it? More than some petty crystal trinket. A windigo heart! How snapped to attention, eager to ramble as the procession continued. Dead, crystallized power from the ancient beasts of yore, fought for and retrieved by my very own ancestor. Demon slaying blood flows from my veins. Ugh, so much power! Belinda hissed in pain, trying to keep pace. A lot of good that's doing you against a real live one. Uh, Neonova winced apologetically. Yeah, we might have a little coming into our own still to do to fill the horseshoes our ancestors left us. But don't you fear now, it'll happen sooner than you'll believe. Given what I believe is never, Belinda rolled her eyes. Maybe instead of worrying about attacking those who might be on our side, we should worry about surviving those who definitely aren't? Uh, Granada looked jumpy, sticking near Shinespark's side. We are on a ship full of hostile pirates. I I have a very good reason to get out of here with my life intact. Golbez bowed his head. Don't we all, lass? But remember, ye don't exactly be having a normal life to return to, now that ye be an outcast of Garshiva. Ones having turned your back on her ways, there be no- Uh-oh! Puddles yelped, running a corner. Party pompons! She clapped her four hooves together, then slammed a burst of icy energy into the ground, Shinespark dashing up to her side with her sword at the ready. A patrol of eight bat ponies stared wide-eyed at the approaching wave, but it washed over them, causing uncontrollable shivering and nothing else. Ah! A puddle shoved Shinespark's side. Stabby them, cute unicorn! Puddles did her best! Shinespark blinked, then her horn flashed, throwing the sword like a boomerang. She had almost no control over its path, but it still passed through most of the bat ponies, and with a jet of light, she soared over their heads to grab it where it fell. Two unscathed Cerosians broke away and lunged, and she quickly clipped them too. Thank you! <laughs> Puddle staggered forward, leaning against another wall in front of a mare that was now staring dejectedly at the ground. 
Uh, she sniffed her face. Bleh. Sad ponies are cute, but your breath stinks. No nuzzles from puddles. You all realize what situation we're in, right? Shrimp asked, pushing back for the crowd and ignoring puddles. She can't fight. Whatever eating that did to her, it's clearly not helping. Unfortunately, I have this sword, but it's us alone against this entire ship, and in normal circumstances, we wouldn't even be allies. They have too much air support for us to ever get out of here the normal way. I think what we're going to have to do is find somewhere to hide where there's food and we can wait out a siege, take some of these sad bat ponies, and blackmail them into helping us sneak away. She glanced at the Sarosians, raising an eyebrow and watching for a reaction. They were all varying degrees of mopey, and one of the worst off ones coughed, a few gray flakes drifting from his muzzle and evaporating the moment they hit the floor. Go that way, Puddles moaned, pointing a hoof. And cue the unicorn carry Puddles. All the pirates looked at her, Galvez apparently willing to let Shinespark take the lead. She raised an eyebrow back at him, and he shrugged. You're the one with the best chance fighting these things, lass. Might be all for living if there be a possibility of it. Sighing, Shinespark picked up Puddles and levitated her onto her back. Even for her insulated armor, the mare was cold, and she was glad she had her mane to separate her from the back of her head. There you go, she consoled, making sure Puddles was balanced. You're not in charge anymore? I am. Deal? Puddles shivered and burrowed into her armor. This makes you not fuzzy. No, it doesn't, Shinespark said, suddenly coming to a realization. If Puddles was this weakened, she could catch her. All she needed was to take the sword and run her through, and her horn tingled for a full second before common sense put it down. They needed Puddles to help them get out, if she could help at all, and more importantly, with a sword seemingly working different against bad ponies, uh, she wasn't eager to see what it would do to a Wendigo. Puddles? Shinespark flicked her ears back. I'll ask one more time. Where's Valet? Uh-huh. Cute Valet? Puddles moaned. She ran away. Flew back to your ship. <laughs> you just missed her. <laughs> Shinespark groaned, then glared back at the pirates. We have to get out of here. You don't say, lass. Golbez gave her a deadpan stare. Puddles knows a good way to go. It's a bad way. Granada gave Puddles a fearful glance. I have no better ideas. Puddles? Oh, Shinespark sighed. Fine, we're going. And if you're still chasing your own agenda when you need to be carried, I have no idea what you're even after. <laughs> uh, Puddles giggled limply as Shinespark set off, taking point with her sword drawn. She nuzzled weakly into Shinespark's mane. Hey, cute unicorn. Can Puddles tell you a secret? Shinespark felt her back fur raising beneath her armor. Those were not words she wanted to hear from a magical enemy mare who was riding on her back, and she desperately wished she had Valet's cutie mark. What? she hissed, ears going stiffly backwards. Puddles inched forward so that her frosty breath was blowing in Shinespark's ears, her voice the barest of whispers. There are security cameras everywhere, she breathed but no alarms going off and only a few tiny patrols. That means the strongest thing in here is watching us and thinks it's playing with us instead of trying to get rid of four puddles. That's why puddles is pretending to be in trouble. My tummy hurts really bad, but my magic is actually super strong right now. <laughs> Keep it a secret. Shinespark stiffened, but kept up her pace. Of course a Wendigo would be crafty and do a thing like that. The question was... Was Puddles being honest about her dishonesty, or trying to manipulate her as well? What are you looking for, she whispered back. Where are we going? Oh, you'll find out. Puddles nuzzled one of her ears. Right now! This door! Open it for Puddles! This place? How stopped and raised an eyebrow at a slightly larger door, their corridor breaking out into a wider one. This is marked as the brig, where prisoners are kept. Oh-ho! Wait. Shinespark furrowed her brow at what she realized was a door sign written in runes that must have been Cerosian. You can read that? How curtsied. All part of my occupation. Prisoners? Belinda looked suspicious. What, are you hoping to release everyone and start a war in the middle of their ship? Puddles giggled. Oh, we should do that too. Good idea. <laughs> but go inside. You'll find out. 
The doors locked with no match for the lockpick the side of Neon Nova Shades doubled as, and he had it open before anyone could even try to smash it. With a creak, the door swung open. End of chapter 512